wanted to say that I, I really have loved watching the videos of everybody uh, that's been making them recently. It's just, um, it's it's so great to see everybody. It's it's uh, it's just like the old days. A little more gray hair, but you know, whatever. Making me think about those times and, and all the the fun we had and. You know, some of the people that, that aren't with us anymore and I don't know I guess we always go for comfort and when we're go through times of stress or whatever which explains why I made cookies last week and then ate them all my comfort food I did give some to my mom but I pretty much have been on an all cookie diet for a week now But I did want to say kind of what I've been doing the last couple of years. Uh, you know, we got Henry the dog uh, in 2016. Uh, we got him. He was born in May 2016, and we got him in July. He was eight weeks old, and um, he was going to be always going to be a therapy dog. So I wanted to kind of get him acclimated to um, going to the office. So I started taking him when he was about 10 weeks up to the office, and. Uh, getting him used to going in the elevator and people and um, just meeting lots of different people and trying not to, you know, jump on people and stuff. And uh, once he has his little harness on, he's all, he's all business pretty much. Um, he still gets very excited around other dogs, not in an aggressive, angry way, but he, he kind of seems that way because he wants to run over and play with them still. And, you know, he's a, he's a hundred pounds now, so that can be challenging. But Typically, when we're out at the office, uh, there's not other dogs around, so you know he's very well behaved uh, in that regard. So that's that's good. I, at the local pet store that I go to to get um, his food, uh, Lucky Dog Barkery, uh, they had bow ties. So one time, uh, well, I'll buy a couple of bow ties, you know, and you know, put them on Henry. And uh, people at the office in the building like the bow ties, and so I start buying more. Bow ties. They they had a limited selection, and, and kind of the ones they did have were a lot of polka dots. And I'm not a polka dot person. He's not a polka dot dog, whatever. So I started looking online at Etsy and, and getting some bow ties there. And sometimes the descriptions were a little off, so the bow tie would be too big or too small, and and it was kind of annoying. And you know, cost a lot of money. Sometimes with shipping, it's like twenty bucks a bow tie. I can't I can't do that. And you know. I, really got into um, having him wear a bow tie every day and I like the idea of wearing a different bow tie so he has quite a collection now but um, as I looked at him and, and wasn't happy with some of them with the snaps and uh, with one little attachment in the center they would always be wonky and I'd spend half the time trying to get it where it stays sort of somewhat straight um, I thought you know what I think I can make these so I bought a sewing machine Now I can sew the bow ties pretty well, but I really can't sew anything else. I'm a one trick pony. Um, but it saved a lot of money, I guess, you know, after we buy the sewing machine and all that. But, well, I became a, a kind of a fabric freak. I love shopping for fabric. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's just been fun, but I have to be careful with the fabric designs because it has to be small enough for the bow tie. And uh, you know, when I get when I would go get food at the, at the Lucky Dog Barkery, um, they would comment that they liked the bow ties that, that I was making, so they asked if I wanted to sell them there. I'm like, okay. I think a dog wants in. I started making bow ties for them in, in uh, I guess my first batch was for Halloween. So most of them are for holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, all that. Um, and they, they actually sell pretty well. So I was really pleased with that. And they keep ordering them. So I keep making them. And um, so this is my, sorry, my second year of, of making them for Lucky Dog Barkery. And I do have a website, but this isn't a commercial. I'm not trying to sell you any, but just, you know, um, trying to get them up and running, I guess, to sell more than just that Lucky Dog. But um, it's, it's just really fun. And uh, again, I like, um, shopping for the fabrics. It's, I like to get things that aren't, they're not dog themed. I, I don't I want to steer away from that just because it seems so, you know. Um, but the holiday stuff. And, uh, and then I had to come up with a name and a logo. So it's Henry's Haberdashery. This is the logo. So it's two little H's 
makes a bow tie. And then this was obviously for St. Patty's Day. Um, and then this is the Easter. And I have multiple, usually multiple bow ties for. I've got multiple St. Patty's Day, well, not just that one. And then, the, so, and then Thanksgiving. Um, so for the first Christmas, I did like 84 ties. I do the, the big ones, which is those, and then the small ones are half that size. And I made 84 bow ties, and I think I had like eight different designs or something like that. I can't remember now, but they sold like 63 of them, which was which was great. Um, so they, that's, they keep ordering them, which is great for me. Um, but yeah, they're just um, like this one, just a little... And uh, the problem I had with some of the ones that I was buying was that they were either too, you know, cockeyed or this way. So this is a, a hair rubber band thing. And it, uh, what I like about it, it's got fabric, so it, it rolls on the collar pretty easily. You just put on the collar, and it um, pretty much will stay centered, which is really nice. And this is easy to pull off and stuff. Um, so that's that. I know. I know. And then through all this whole pandemic thing, I thought I, I would help out with the little face mask. But... Since I don't really sew, um, it's been ugly. This one's my my first one. It's um, a little lopsided and um, probably don't have the right number of little pleats. And the ear strap things aren't quite where they need to go. Um, so, you know, it's a work in progress. We'll just keep working on it. But I would like to, you know, help out any way I can, I guess. Um, well, I'm going to leave it there with that and maybe see you tomorrow, I hope. And I'm watching your videos, so I'll see you guys around. Bye.